welcome to the second video in the series about the next step. Um, in the last video you would have seen um, the finder, uh, sorry, the file viewer and the shelf in uh, OpenStep 4.0 beta. This time we're going to be looking at some of the applications that you get with it. Um, they are pretty much the same as um, your normal applications that you get with it uh, with OpenStep, but some are slightly different. Okay, so let's go and have a look see what we've got in the next apps. Now, some of these would have been around in, um, well, because of the Next Step 3.3 install that I had in um, on this machine previously. So, um, you've got your regular edit application. Um, this is not quite the same as normal because no preferences, so you can't get at the more advanced aspects of edit. Um, obviously, you can still get at the ruler, you can still open and save and all that lot, you just can't tell it to go into a developer mode or anything like that. Um, interestingly enough, there is an application on developer called Edit Classic, which is the old um, text editor from Next Step 3.3. So besides edit, you obviously get um, the normal ones, like your fax reader, um, your grab application, um, digital librarian, uh, the mail viewer, video player in the form of next time, um, preview, print manager, uh, terminal, and Webster. Now, um, the biggest difference is the preferences. In regular OpenStep and Next Step, you would get at your preferences using um, the clock on the dock, but the clock in the shelf doesn't do what you'd expect it to do. So there's an application called Preferences, which lets you pretty much set all your preferences and there is a brand new preference pane for handling items that want that you want to start up when you log in. You'd simply just take the icon of whatever it is you want to start up and drag it in there and then next time will now start up when it's time I log in. And to, uh, to stop it from starting up you just drag it out again. You don't have to hide it this time as well, you can just quit it. Alright, so I think the biggest difference in applications that is worth looking at is going to be next mail or mail viewer. As you can see here it still does the same thing, it flashes um, the papers when you get a new mail and it gives you the mail count in the dock icon. So what's new about it? Well for starters the entire interface is different. A lot different. It still handles um, traditional mail images, people images, and obviously it handles all the different kinds of attachment types that NextMail used to handle. So for example here I've got an application that I can just go and, I think in this case I'll just drag it into my home directory. So I can just drag this into my home directory. And there we go. The biggest difference is in, is in uh, how you compose messages. It is a lot different. In fact, if I just, as a demonstration of the difference, when I say because this is an upgrade over the top of Next Step 3.3, I still have the original mail application here. And you can instantly see the difference. So again, you've got um, your lip service, you've got your address book, including uh, uh, people images support, and you've got your types, and, you know, you can set it from, from uh, next mail, mine, plain text, you know, read receipt, on the read receipt, spelling, and biggest difference is you've now got the font and the color buttons, you can get that easy. So all you do is, same as normal, 
we just uh, go and type in an email address uh, subject and then type your message and then click on the post box and mark off and send and then there's obviously just your mailboxes and bingo and there you are so you can still do the same you can list your mailboxes create a new one um, set, you can't do this now, but you can go and set um, mailboxes in the same way, you can drag, you can archive mailboxes, yes, I haven't used Nextmail for a long time, so I've clean forgotten how to move images, uh, sorry, mails between mailboxes, don't yell at me, all you Next addicts, I've been away from Next for at least six years now. So yes, that's um, the biggest application change is uh, the mail viewer. The other one which is worth looking at is Project Builder. Those of you who have used Project Builder on Next Step will know that Project Builder is different in OpenStep. However, this is a more of a go-between. If I uh, just create a new project, just for the sake of things, and I'll call this uh, Foo. So there. So you can see that the icons um, are a lot different. There is no uh, syntax coloring. The build um, icon. Let's say the build icons and layout are a bit different. You can still build quad fat. As you can see here. I obviously forgot to link it to some frameworks, but hey, ooh, that is one hell of a lot of build errors. Ah, okay. I'll play it. just building it for Intel this time. And there we go, that's better. And obviously, um, normally you'd have your debug panel, but it looks like it wasn't added. But yeah, so this is this is um, Project Builder. You might know, say it is a lot different to the one in Next Step 3.3, and it is fairly different to the one in Open Step 4, uh, the main releases. But you can kind of see now the uh, progression between the Project Builder in NS33 and the Project Builder in, say, OS4.2. Of course, we've got Interface Builder, but that really has not changed. Other than the fact that you have got uh, the new image and uh, text scroll palette. Everything is pretty much the same in this respect. So, what else is do you get with this? Um, this is pretty much it as far as what you get bundled with um, OpenStep 4.0 preview release one. The next video now, I will look closer into um, the previous Next releases, starting with Next Step 3.3, because I don't actually have Next Step 3.2 installed, and I don't own Next Step 3.1. So we will start with Next Step 3.3, uh, move on to Open Step 4.2, and then Rhapsody, and, uh, and then uh, that's pretty much it. I'll probably start just doing videos. Um, aimed at talking people through installing NS33 or OS42 in VMware. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and hopefully I will see you for the next one.